Hello, I'm Lawrence Chard. Welcome to How to Spot a Fake. Today we're going to look at an 1891 Eritrea silver Talero. At the time, Eritrea was an Italian colony and was also known as Italian Somaliland. I actually get quite excited when I see something as unusual as an Eritrean coin because we just don't see many. In this case, it's quite an obvious fake because the moment you pick it up, it feels too light and we check the weight it should weigh just over 28 grams ours weighs about 20 grams so it's a, a long way short it also feels too thin and i've not actually bothered to check the the thickness but um, the coin's clearly wrong with the the huge weight differential when we've got anything that's uh, that's in doubt at all we uh, we stick it on our night on testing machine. In this case, it was uh, quite revealing because it should be 800 parts per thousand silver and the results were coming out down at about seven parts per thousand silver. Um, this coin is made of, uh, of brass, so it's coming out about 745 parts copper per thousand, about 240 parts of zinc and uh, a small amount of tin as well, about five parts per thousand of tin. So clearly nowhere near the right sort of metal content. A genuine coin of this type and date would be worth, oh, perhaps uh, upwards of $5,000 in mint condition, and in fine to VF condition, two or three hundred dollars. A fake coin uh, would be worth uh, well, the silver content firstly would only be worth about uh, 10 or 12 dollars and the metal content of this coin is just about uh, nothing, maybe 10 cents. So, let's take a closer look. It's often the case when we're looking at fakes or any other coins that the overall appearance is really important and I think maybe that comes with experience that you know what you're looking for. But right now I'm going to try and hone in on, uh, on small details that anybody can pick up on. A lot of it is weakness. It looks like, uh, well to me it looks like weak striking. To other people it might look like the coins faded away, which of course it hasn't done. But the E on Eritrea looks very faint. This crown on top of the eagle um, also looks weak. It's got a bit of it missing there. There's weak parts on the wings. Again, other people might think, oh, well, that's wear and tear. It's wear on the coin. But no, I don't think this coin has had a lot of wear. Otherwise, the silver plating that it's undoubtedly got would have worn through. The cross on the shield there is also very weak looking. You can get weak strikes on genuine coins, but um, they tend to look better than this. The lettering down here, the L and the E on Talero there, have almost disappeared. Um, it's interesting because there's a scratch on here. Somebody's got a, some kind of pointy tool and scratched it away. And this wasn't us. I guess it's some previous owner has scratched away at the silver plating to see what's underneath it. And I think you can see that it's a coppery colour underneath, which it indeed is. OK, let's flip the coin over and have a look at the other side. One of the best parts of the design of this coin, or at least on a, an original genuine coin, to my mind, is a very large portrait of King Umberto of Italy. And it's quite unusual because it is so large and it, it does fill the coin. It's not particularly pretty, but it's a, it's a nice portrait. But uh, on this coin, again, like the reverse side, it's very weak. That shows here in the, the kind of very low definition and the difference between the flat field and the raised design looks a bit soft and mushy. There's more weakness in the lettering. It's not as bad as on the reverse. This is the E there is just disappearing a little bit on the, the bottom right hand side. And that's that's probably the main part of this, but the overall appearance is the, the most important bit of this rather than look at tiny little details. Just looking for a few other small details that we can single out on this coin. The O 
of Umberto is very weak at the bottom, it's almost missing. The little raised pimple by the 8 on the date, which you wouldn't expect to see on a genuine coin. There are a few other little pimply and bubbly marks as well. Um, but uh, when I was looking for those, I then noticed that around here, there's a kind of area there that looks like, um, I can only describe as scabby, as if the, uh, the field of the coin has had some sort of uh, rash or spot and it still hasn't gone down. There's little raised areas here, round here, round here, round here. I can't remember ever seeing anything like that on a genuine coin, so that's something that's, that's wrong about this coin. And just before we finish on, on this, is if we look at the raised part of the rim there, I think you can see the silver plating's wearing off. It must have been very thin, and it looks a little bit coppery underneath. And there's some high points here, where, again, the silver plating has worn off, and you can see it's a, a reddy, copper, coppery colour underneath. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you liked it. If so, please subscribe and you can always leave comments for us below.